Colossal Biosciences is using CRISPR gene editing technology to resurrect animals that have gone extinct. They are starting next year with a woolly mammoth and are making plans for the Tasmanian tiger. The plan is to release 100 woolly mammoths inside a park in Siberia. This is officially being done under the guise of climate change. They claim that by adding megafauna back into the Arctic tundra, it will offset carbon emissions. The company has already raised over 12 million euros, which includes funding from the CIA. The CIA's venture capital firm, InQtel, is a stakeholder of Colossal Biosciences. Euronews points out that the plan seems counterproductive, seeing as how over 30% of trees worldwide are currently going extinct, and points out its potential dangers of introducing ancient unknown pathogens into our modern world. But when you look into the company's co-founder, George Church, it becomes clear that it's really all about pushing the agenda of human cloning and transhumanism. Harvard scientist George Church received donations from 2005 to 2007 from Jeffrey Epstein, the infamous pedophile transhumanist who was planning on establishing a baby farm at his New Mexico ranch to seed the earth with his DNA. In 2019, Church awkwardly apologized for his association with Jeffrey Epstein on 60 Minutes. But, it, you know, it was one of these things where you first learn about it and, and it's not, it's just like, uh, when you first hear about it, it doesn't sound like it's something serious. And it's only recently that we've found out that, that uh, there was something serious or that become aware how serious it was. The professional connection between Jeffrey Epstein and George Church was their common desire to clone humans, which is something that Church is most passionate about. His work has been focused primarily on creating superior humans and wants to bring Neanderthal man back from extinction and give them their own culture and political force. He is also passionate about creating customized living creatures out of DNA to serve mankind as we see fit. When asked if he believed in God, Church responded that he respects all people's faith, but his faith is in science and that the true understanding of nature is only available to the scientists. This psychopathy that has infected man with an obsession to play God has attracted many atheists into the field of genetic engineering. But not everyone in this field wants to play God. Dr. Bruce Lipton was a pioneer in the research of cloned human stem cells. His research revealed that the environment and our perception of the environment is what controls our genetic activity. This is known as epigenetics. And as a result of his research, he stopped being an atheist and found faith in God. This and the nature of his research has alienated him from today's scientific community, which seeks to destroy nature and control it. But you can still find his work, and I recommend that you do. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.